Number one, number one that I want to point out here is actually, it's hard for you to see, but underneath, I'll, I'll zoom in here in a second and give you some B-roll. This rail right here from Anarchy Outdoors is magnificent. I absolutely love it. I took off the 30 MOA rail that Ruger provided with the RPR Magnum. Good job, Ruger. I'm glad that you at least put a 30 on there. I think that needs to be the standard across the board for all rifles nowadays because modern optics can handle it but I actually want more. I have intentions to shoot this out to two miles when I get some better weather. This next week is gonna be around 20, 25 mile an hour winds. It's hard, to, it's hard for me to imagine making su successive hits on IDPA size targets at two miles. I don't have a six foot target out there, so later I will, but I wanted an improved scope base. That's what Anarchy Outdoors provided here. So this scope base right here is uh, multifunctional. It does a few things really well. First of all, it does work with the original hardware. So I took my old hardware out, cleaned it up a little bit, got the old lock tied off of it, roughed up the surface, making sure it was dry. And then I threw this on, lock tighted everything, let it dry for a while. And I threw on this Zeiss LRP. It's the S3 LRP 4 to 25. It's advertised as around 46 mils of internal E. I would say right around 44 and a half is where the image is still pretty optimized beyond that some goofy stuff starts to happen and i don't like the closing of the image or the uh kind of egg egg shape that you're going to start to get with the reduction there but that aside very very good image decent glass for sure not top notch but it's decent glass this will get me out to a mile and a half two miles um, on probably i'll probably be shooting at that point on 12 power and I can just dial. I don't need to hold over at all at those distances. That's sweet. So this 40 MOA rail allows me to use more of the internal elevation provided by the scope. But here's the thing. Most modern scopes, even like your Arkin scopes, a lot of the new Vortex scopes, they have enough internal E. Even those base level scopes, they have enough internal E. You don't have to have a crazy scope to go out really, really far anymore. With a 40 MOA base, you can use enough of your internals to get pretty far with a sufficient caliber. Like I said, 300 PRC is a great one mile caliber, maybe even two mile caliber. And so this scope combination with this scope rail, it just took what I had and it increased the utility even more. I can do more with it, less limitations, and that's what we all want. We want our guns to do everything all the time, right? So now I have a more versatile gun because of that rail, and I think it's a huge improvement. One of the things I really like about the Anarchy Outdoors rail, and the reason I suggest it to everybody, is this RPR Magnum rail has a bubble level in the back. And this is the version I highly suggest. It works out great. Fitment was good. Hardware sank in there nicely. Uh, didn't feel like tolerances were poor. Coatings are very good and evenly applied. So fit and finish is good there. My rings fit in really nicely. And that rear bubble level, uh, some rails are designed in a way where I can't see the bubble level. And I do have this on high rings. I recognize that. The reason that I went with this uh, in particular was barrel mirage is one factor. Comfort behind this because this is an inline system. I just needed it a little higher for some of the positions I'm gonna shoot in. And then I have a uh, scope cam that's gonna fit over the ocular housing here. And so I can't have even the QD side here, I can't have that on this side. So I had to flip it over, put it on higher rings. Anyways, that being said, I can see the bubble level in the back, which means I don't need a bubble level up here. Sometimes I still put one on there, but when I'm mounting, it can kind of have some utility there to make sure that the rifle is level. And then when I'm actually shooting, I can look at that and I can see it with my left eye while I'm in position prone. I only ever shoot this from a bench or prone because this is a big heavy rifle. So I can see that bubble level and it does have utility. So great job to Anarchy Outdoors with this product. And I'm going to suggest it to everyone with a sufficient optic. And most of us nowadays do have sufficient optic. optic. If you're buying a rifle like this, you better be putting a halfway decent, halfway capable scope with some internal elevation on there. And this rail is gonna be for all of you who do that. Next up is something that I wasn't expecting to think is so good. This right here, this little piece of plastic, okay, is actually designed with a tab on the inlet. And the tab grabs onto your magazine release so that you can extend the reach of the release instead of hunting to find the release like if you're in a match an elr match and I've, I've got really tight specs my lower on this rpr is just super tight so it's hard to get mags out and this tab is fairly small i think it's smaller than it should be to be honest with you this addition right here 
which is super affordable. You can just press that and now it's a lot easier to index and grab your mag. I think this is the way that it should have been built from the factory, in my opinion. It should have had some sort of extended piece for your flanges here, but I like the way that it functions. I wasn't expecting it to be as useful as it is, but it totally is, and it stays on there. That's probably my main concern that I had originally. Is like, is that thing gonna stay on there with that little tab? Definitely does. Uh, it has not come off at all, whether shooting, packing it up, moving it around, letting other people mess with it. Um, under pressure or just shooting for fun. I haven't had any time where this has actually, you know, dismissed itself on its own. So that's a for an affordable product that you could easily add in with your order with these other, I would say, necessary upgrades. Moving on to the bolt shroud, the bolt handle, and the bolt knob. These three I'm going to talk about together. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and fold my stock out of the way. Now the RPR uh, Centerfire series, the Magnum series, they kind of had a curse for a while. I think they still have it actually. The bolt that comes with the gun has a plastic rear housing, and mine did too. And the rear housing contains kind of a spring mechanism that holds in your bolt breakdown tool, and it's horrible. It comes apart, it comes apart while I'm running the bolt give the gun to my friends, they're running, they're like, man, something's sloppy, something's not working. You try to fold your stock out of the way and that tool breaks down and about half my friends who have had an RPR, theirs didn't stay put. Eventually it would come out and start falling apart on them after even 500 rounds, something would happen. It just wasn't designed the right way, not enough tension. And that's where I can say this was a huge necessary upgrade for me. Functionality, again, being the primary reason. This is a a nice looking, aesthetically pleasing bolt. I think it matches well with the uh, bolt handle here and then the bolt arm. It's cool, but Anarchy Outdoors is pretty intent that their upgrades are not for aesthetics. They are functional upgrades. And I like this one a lot because of that, it is a functional upgrade. First of all, the stainless is just superior. This is just a superior product. The housing here, it looks better. It's weightier, which is what I wanted to balance the rifle out. I want this rifle to be heavy in the first place. And on the rear, you have an O-ring and you have a stainless bolt breakdown tool. So this right here threads into the back and it threads in, and that's the big deal here. It threads in, it's got a coin slot on the back, easy enough to just tighten up with my hands and I've never had it come loose. Now in quite a few rounds, it never comes loose. I would actually say that the bolt feels better I don't know why that would be, but the bolt feels better in running it. I think it looks better. It's more robust and I don't have to take apart my rifle every once in a while. I'll just try to get those pieces out of the buffer tube, which was so frustrating. So great addition there. If you're having issues with yours, you probably will in the future if you haven't, but if you're having issues with yours, I'm going to recommend this. They are specific to whether you have the Magnum or version, you know, whatever circa whatever year that they started making changes because they did make changes to the bolt. You need to identify that when you're in your checkout process, make sure you get the right one. It's not hard to do, just do a little bit of research. And this is a huge upgrade. I can highly suggest moving on. I did these at the same time since I was breaking down the bolt. Anyways, I put, put in this bolt arm here or this uh, handle rather. This was a really cool thing. I just heard the other day Aaron's explanation of this. And so he seems to be a little bit more towards the uh, precision shooting world. And a lot of his staff are in the hunting world, but they both have something in common is they want to make improvements to the designs of things. This is an improvement over the factory bolt handle and knob both. So first of all, the factory bolt handle has a different degree throw. This adds to it just slightly in a functional way so that when I'm running the bolt, when I'm actually behind the gun here, when I'm actually behind this, it actually feels like the angle has been reduced. And maybe that's why it feels like the bolt is smoother to me. Could just be kind of deceptive, uh, maybe a little bit placebo, but it feels like I'm lifting less. It feels like less angleture. I can get on targets faster. If I'm in the middle of a competition or doing like an ELR competition, or if you're just shooting really far for fun, and you want to send bullets in the same wind. You don't want to be messing around with a hung up spring in the back with your bolt tool disassembling. You don't want to be hung up on just a poor angle or maybe a slippery bolt knob. Now the bolt knob that the RPR comes with is sufficient to do work with, but they're not great. They're not impressive and they're not 
above average in any sense of the world uh, word. Uh, I think this uh, is a significant upgrade in functionality. I don't think it looked bad on the original. The teardrop design is it's it's fine, but this is such an uh, it's such an improvement. So adding these two together, the bolt handle and the bolt knob. The bolt knob makes a lot of sense because it's got a scallop in the middle and it just fits perfectly on my index finger. When I'm grabbing it, my finger grabs this pattern right here. There's kind of a design, kind of a, a crisscross pattern in here and it hasn't been smoothed totally out. It's not sharp, but it has little ridges and it's enough to grab my index finger. And so that when I'm shooting, I can't really be sloppy, or I can be sloppy with it if I really needed to, because my finger will grab onto something here, whether that's going to be the scallop from the bolt or the actual um, design crisscross pattern in here. In fact, I'm looking at it, my skin is in it. I've got skin built up in there after using it for a while, and I like that. I want it to be smooth. If I need to send two bullets in the air almost at the same time to catch the same wind on a windy day and just trying to keep them close together, which is definitely a thing. This bolt handle and bolt knob help me do that, of course, with the bolt shroud not falling apart on me. All three of these parts have been a major component. So I've got five things here. I've got the shroud, I've got the bolt handle, I've got the bolt knob, I've got the assist on the magazine and the rail, but there's one more that I absolutely love and it could go on this rifle, but I've got it on another rifle that I get to shoot almost every single week. All right, so I have two CZ457s. Uh, one of them's kind of my loaner rifle and review rifle, and then the other is one of my competition rifles, and I'm doing some stuff with both of them right now, but I run Anarchy Outdoors uh, grips on both of them. This is the Tuxedo grip, if I remember correctly, and I've had this for maybe a year, year and a half, something like that. It's fit really well on multiple rifles, but I think it fit the best on this one. I really, really enjoyed it. I love the angle, which is something a lot of companies have tried to replicate but haven't got to. There's something unique here about the grip, the angle, the way that my palm fits in there, as well as the swell. So that's a very highly recommended grip, especially for these smaller rifles. But when it came to a little bit bigger rifle, I did want to move up to the Alpha. And so this grip right here is kind of the higher end model of that one does some things the same does some things better in my opinion number one it's got a grip texture on this particular model it's just more aggressive on the hand i like the way that my hand meets up here and then particularly the ledge placement so on the right side here i'm right-handed the ledge placement just fits better with this 457 than it did with all my other rifles i just thought it was just a really really genuinely complimentary design I like the way that it looks, which is cool. That helps. But for my hand size, I'm 6'5", 6'4", 6'5", about 240 pounds. I wanted a bigger grip. And this did exactly what I wanted it to do. It's vertical, but it still has a little bit of a relief for your hand around here. It's comfortable, and it also positions me consistently so I can pull the trigger the exact same way every single time. And that's a big deal when you start getting into precision rifles. Now, obviously, if your rifle bolt action or AR can receive a standard AR grip, and it has the thread for that. This doesn't have any features that are going to prevent it. It doesn't have uh, a dovetail that sticks up and will interfere with anything, so it works fine on my bolt action here with a CZ457 uh, Custom Shop chassis. It also receives well on the front because there's no gap filler. Right here, I can get at my threads, which thread the action in and hold it together. So the grip works really, really well on bolt actions as well as ARs. I've seen guys put these on AR10s to great success actually if it's a dedicated long range rifle i think this vertical style grip is very complimentary i am considering it but i've got more of a dmr setup right now so i don't know but as far as i can tell prone shooting as well as uh, positional shooting like nrl 22 would be my application for that this kind of grip is not going to hold you back it is going to benefit you it's going to help you have a consistent handhold it's going to improve from the other standard grips that I've seen out there, the very common ones, certainly better than the like AR specific grips. I think these kinds of uh, improved grips that just have a little bit of flair for where your hand actually meets up, but it's not so specific that it has finger grooves because that wouldn't be good. That's bad. You know, everybody's hands are different. It's just got enough flair to fill out a hand. And whether you have a big hand or a small hand, I don't see this as being a problem in any sort of way um, that shelf 
is top notch. So compatibility wise, it should fit with almost everything out there that has an AR style grip or can receive one. If you like these products, any of them at all, help companies that are true to a companies do well in this season. Um, there's a lot of frauds out there nowadays, believe it or not, even in the 2A world, in the gun community, there are people who are not genuinely 2A supportive. And I find that this company to be, you know, like through and through 100% 2A supportive, and I'm more than happy to give them my support and my finances and buy some of their gear because number one, it functions better, it works. Number two, it does look good. And uh, of course, because we have that commonality that they are truly representing and supporting uh, gun owners in America like us.